from the injector rails. Or fuel rails on, fucking no. These ones that come with the motor were bent. Not the nicest. Using these ones. Uh, don't know what, which injectors are better. We just pulled this one out. Not the nicest. Oh yeah. Have a little look. Fucking. Damn. I think we'll go with our original ones. To be honest. Might have to change this one, it's got a crack. And the rubber. But the rest of them are alright. Anyway. It's just a little something. And then we just got a fucking wire everything else up it should be fucking close here's Mr. Josefina alright so we're gonna change this injector cause it's broken as you can see the rest are fine alright so we got this injector out of our rail, get the o-ring off it, needs to go on here, right, so as you can see, the electrical plugs face outwards. We may as well probably clean this corrosion out of the hole since we got this injector out. So we'll put our injector back in with the electrical plug facing the same way likewise. And as you can see these little lines are just out of there so that looks like it is home pretty good. Fish this little bolt out of the fucking I believe these have cruise control. Yeah. They do, so there's two cables. Um. That goes in the radiator. No, oh, fuck it. I don't know what that bolt is for, but what have to stay in there. Oh, got it. So it's got a power steering fluid cooler. that thing right. power steering hose which goes in the back of that pump that's the earth for the motor this 
one of our fuel lines with that. Hold up. Don't put that in yet. We do the electrical wiring first. So we gotta fucking put this uh, this into the back of our pump over here. This is bent as far. It doesn't line up properly. You mean the end of its bent? Oh no. Yeah. Now you need a new fucking hose. You already did anyway. You need a fucking this hose is all bent and not in the right place so all this line doesn't really line up to the pump so when you try and fucking put the little bastard in it's not lining up right And you'll strip the fucking power steering pump thread more than likely. That wasn't in properly, and if you put a spanner on it, it would have fucked shit up. So, this line has to be replaced. Let's see what we can do with the wiring loom. Now, this bolt down there, this. I believe my oh alternator. Ah, uh, we got the fucking earth on. Where they can go with it. Oh, the old night it was loose the whole time. How's that for a joke? Back for our old. These haters 
จะหีเอวัยพุรมนเนี่ยเซอร์วิคินเอซีตัวบอทอัมเพลสตีรินพัมชีดิสฮาร์ดส์วิ่งก็ดิสซิงรันนั่ง The fucking side of the engine. It's obviously you're gonna fucking have to hook up to some shit, whatever that may be. Um. So we need to clear this little fucking gap between the firewall and that stud. Um, we need to get all these wires behind there. So if we either drop or raise the height of the motor with that jack on the gearbox, bell hairs in region, we will in definitely change the where this is. There's already movement. In that stud's distance from the firewall. I'll try and lift it a bit. Alright. Because it's not going Lifting down. it yeah. is working. Okay. Definitely working. More. Heaps more. Ooh. What happened there? Oh. It was going really good actually. We almost just could have yeah. done it. A little bit more. That's it. Can you go touch more? That's it. Yeah. I must go down. Ah, oh, so there's some metal stud on the back of the in the firewall, like this type of fashion, poking out and it's catching in the fucking um, wire loom. I feel like it's for some sort of bracket to bolt on. But like, this is evil shit. I feel like it should get fucking knocked off. Just snap the cunt off. Then no one has to deal with this poor design of putting brackets trying to hold stuff in place. Like who needs that? The hey. wiring loom can just dangle free. Look at how well it's held in place right now. We got it mostly for it's just jammed up. It works sick jacking the motor up forward. Maybe if we let it down a bit. Maybe more if we jack it up and forward more. I swear it, this has to go down now, but. What do you mean? Actually, you know what we do? We just get the U pass and then we just tug this fucking bit. That we no nah, more.
Now this is like kind of broken in there, but it'll still go on. So I think he's got the starter wire in his hand. I've worked out what this strange thing is. It's that. That's on the motor with those two things poking out. So this top one, we don't know what it goes to, but this bottom one goes in there. So we switch. This goes onto there. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna fucking assume that this. Yeah, we've taken the other hose of this thing, put it on the top. I don't know what the fuck it goes onto. I'm just gonna put it on this thing. So we put it on this. Weird actuator or whatever the fuck this is. I don't know about superchargers. But it's got two more. Wait, that one's like a pressurized. Fuck, this thing actually matters what you click it onto. I was gonna say we put that pressurized one onto this black thing then. And we're gonna run that into these. Oh, probably should look up a diagram. It's not like it's going to blow up. So there's like this actuator waste gate supercharger. I wish to look up what those things do. We get in there, at least it's actually coming along alright. Yeah, yeah. At least everything's in the right path. Now it's all easy from here. Because we know where all the shit pretty much goes. And then there's like less and less and less as we go to put back together. So, look how good the engine mount's holding up. Alright. Here, I'll try to get you this fucking starter. Okay. Let's look at the one that was versing. This is the old one we took off. Completely mangled. What's going on? Um, you do this that. I should probably put the fucking slave cylinder on the gearbox, yo. <laughs> then we'll be closer. Then it's just wiring left to do. If we get the mechanical shit done, makes it even easier. So we're gonna let the motor down, we've got the wiring in place. Can you get the cross member up where it is? I think so, yeah. Move the jack. Or should we sort the shift down that first? Yeah. Fuck, I lost that fucking plate, it's on the M1. We can still use it without it, it'll still drive. It's just a bit hard to fucking select gears. Wait, you just gotta hold the shifter in place. Oh. Well, we need to get a power steering line anyway. Oh. So we may, 
Is it one of these, please? It's like that, yeah. The other side to that. So we may as well fucking get that plate and the power steering hose before we put it there. So we're kind of on a hold regarding gearbox side. The only thing that can go on is the slave. Yeah, that can go. But you need to take the pressure out of the line. So we need to crack the slate, the hydraulic fucking clutch line on the bleeder, and then we fucking. can bolt the slave back up. What's the blader? Eight or ten? Uh, looks like an Now push the fucking piston back a bit. Halfway. Now shut the fucking thing. Yeah, now shut. The piston has to go back further than that. Now leave the, the line just like it cracked just a tiny bit so it's not fully shut. And then what we could do is we're gonna put the slave in the gearbox and bolt it up where it's meant to go. So you put it on the studs. Yeah, it does. The more it's cracked, the easier it is to push it back. So we got a fucking slave pretty much up. The front wiring loom. Fucking hope they aren't important. What's that? Ah, oh, these severed wires. Oh, you need those fucking yellow and blue ones? Yeah. So we feed these wires through. These belts got in the fucking way.
meant to go on the other side. So it doesn't touch the harmonic balance. Now this normally goes I'm pretty sure on fucking I will put a few rails on now. Get that fucking fuel rail wherever it is. Yeah, the flies have started coming back to Australia. Oh, it's, it's cold. We have all our injectors pressed in and placed in. And we can get our fucking lines on. Whichever way they go, rear, front, alright. In and out, we'll just work that out easy.